Whenever humanity has been at its best, at its pinnacle, art museums have a record of that. Whether it's the greatest tragedies of humanity, whether it is the triumphs of nations, our intimate moments or collective moments of joy, of angst, of sorrow, of excitement, an artist with his or her talent transform that with his mind, his hands, into an in intemporal masterpiece. And that is exactly what we collect and we treasure for generations to come. Today's museums, I would venture to say, are not as they were in the past. They are closer to the university of the people. They are open spaces for us to wonder, to dream, and to do self-discovery. But tonight, I want to make the case of the museum as the space for all. And the question is that I myself acknowledge that we do not always experience the museum that way. So why? Well, I would venture to say that we have to slow down. We have to find the right pace in which to engage with art and with ourselves. So could it be that running the entire Louvre gallery at nine, to break a world record in nine minutes and 30 seconds, as in this film, could that be the right pace? Maybe not, although this is really liberating and joyful. Could it be that it is sitting down and contemplating the same masterpiece day after day for ages? That would not be my rhythm. There is no right or wrong way to enjoy art. But one of the things that we have recently discovered is our average pace of visiting museums. And that is at 284 square miles per minute. It sounds nerdy, it is. <laughs> but that translates to roughly like one mile per hour. And if you think of the Nelson Atkins, it would take you nine hours to cover it all. And the Louvre, it's two days, nonstop, day and night, to cover it. So I don't recommend doing that, please. Why? Because we also know that almost after 40 minutes, we all have sensory overload, gallery fatigue. That is exactly experientially when my son says to me, Dad, can we go, please? Right? So I venture to say that the space of awe that we're, we're looking for might be somewhere in between there, but that we have to be mindful and that we have to be strategic about how we deploy our time. We have to slow down. And it is utterly important in today's day and age when we have millions of images coming to us through many digital ways, trying to tempt us with mindless consumption of tangible things. When we are also in the flow of information, the museum appears more and more as the last refuge for our soul. In these rentless moments in which everything seems ubiquitous, the museum is the last place perhaps to be in the presence of what is unique, what is original, what is authentic. So I invite you to think of the museum, of visiting a museum, like savoring an incredible meal. You would not go to a restaurant and order the entire menu, would you? No. Well, it's about the same thing, about being careful about how we select our things, about savoring the moment and sharing it with others, about being present and mindful. So, <clears throat> Next time you visit a museum, come only with a lot of curiosity. Come ready to embark with your creativity in a self-discovery. Ask yourself questions. Think about those works of art and how they relate to you. But most importantly, tell yourself stories. Invent them. They might not be the art history that we teach, 
Those stories, and if you be selective when you start looking at works of art, just stop in front of those that talk to you, those works of art that most inspire you. And if you know which ones those are, they'll start talking and telling stories, stories about you, about your individuality and about your universality. Stories about who you are today, but most importantly, about who you can be in the future. So, visit art museums because art has a transformative power to enhance your life, to transform what you know. So, visit often and live an inspired life. Thank you very much. Thank <clears throat> you.